Let's see how we can differentiate ln of e to the negative x plus x times e to the negative x. Before anything, let's do algebra first. We see this and that, they have the e to the negative x. So we can factor that out. So this right here is ln of e to the negative x. And then this right here will just become 1. And then we just have to add x. So again, we just factor out e to the negative x. And this is good because now, thanks to the log property, we can break this down into ln of the first plus ln of the second, right? Because this is a product. So here we will have ln of the first, which is e to the negative x. And then we add ln of the second, which is 1 plus x inside. You know what else is really good? Yeah, ln and e cancel each other out. So the original function is just negative x plus ln of 1 plus x after we have done all the algebra. Yep. Okay, now let's look at this and do the derivative. The derivative of negative x is just negative 1, done. And then the derivative of one, ln of 1 plus x, this is going to give us 1 over whatever this is, which is 1 plus x. And then remember, you should always use the chain rule. But if you look at the derivative of 1 plus x, it's just 1. So multiply by 1 doesn't matter. So in this case, if you somehow forgot to do the chain rule, it's okay. But always, always, always be really careful. You always use the chain rule, but sometimes it might not matter. That's it.